few weeks ago, someone commented on one of my videos asking, hey, can you do cosplays besides Danganronpa? And I was like, sure, yeah, what do you want me to do? And they said, I don't know. So here's Demon Slayer. Hi, I'm Shell. I'm a cosplayer. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Or if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Today we are back with another one-star cosplay review, this time Shinobu from Demon Slayer. And this series is exactly what it sounds like. I find a one-star cosplay on Amazon, I buy it with my hard-earned money, and we all see what happens. <laughs> Honestly, these videos are so fun to film because I never know what to expect. As always, I will put the cosplay link in the description box down below so you guys can check it out yourselves. Uh, based on their size chart, I chose a medium, so we'll see how that works. It's like sealed. Do I have to rip this open like a bag of shredded cheese? Oh my god. Y'all know what the best part about this cosplay is? It comes with a wig. We have a paper butterfly. Gonna be honest, not totally sure where this goes. We got a belt. We have her very pretty robe, which I'm very excited about. These, I believe, go on like leg warmers. And this is the full Demon Slayer um, garb, the pants and the jacket. And I think that's a dead bug on there. Gross. So right away, fresh out of the bag, I want to point out that there are some little like nicks and scratches in the printing on here, which I don't love. So let's put this on my body and talk about Demon Slayer. Ooh, all these are fun. <laughs> okay, points for pockets. I love a pocket. I know there's definitely like technical traditional terms for, um, I know there's, ooh, this, uh, does this have a zipper? It is hard to get this over my booty. It just has some elastic in the sides and I am pulling it on, I swear. I'm trying. I do have hips though, with bones in them. Okay, we made it. <laughs> That was not the part I expected to be hard, honestly. So I started watching Demon Slayer in like January of 2021. So I have seen it for a while. I really like it. And that's surprising to me because I usually hate Shonen. There are quite a few stray threads in here. And in the pants. That's a little tight. I mainly don't like shonen because I get really bored watching like the same fight take place for three episodes. You know the heroes are gonna win because like they have to continue the story. So obviously they are always going to win and they're always going to live. Unless they're Rengoku. Too soon. The quality so far is eh. It's made of like that standard plasticky cosplay fabric, so that I'm not really disappointed by, but there are just so many stray threads on every single seam here. And that to me shows like a lack of care. You can even see on the edges of the little white um, pocket thing, like all of these are just raw threads sticking out every which way. So I am not impressed by that. There are definitely technical terms for these garments, but I don't know them. So please be nice to me in the comments. I'm not sure how much I like the print and like color quality on this. I'll have to double check with some reference photos to like see how accurate this is. Editing me, is this accurate? Let me know. Hi, editing shell here. So this is actually really uh, interesting to me because if you look at the anime, uh, this cosplay is not accurate to that image of Shinobu. However, if you look at the colored manga drawings, they are where her colors are kind of more mixed together, whereas the anime is just like two straight bands of color. So I just, I think that's actually really fascinating. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there you go. Woo! 
I am really worried I am going to break this button. <laughs> then we get our fun little leg warmers. First of all, that's like not even a bow. Look at that. It's just like a smooshed ribbon that has been stitched on there with white thread. So that was not put in with a lot of thought. Second, this seam is right in the center where it meets the bow. And yes, this does go on the back of her leg, but wouldn't you want to put the seam on like the inside? Maybe that's an unreasonable expectation. I do understand why you would put a seam in the back, but when she has this bow that's so obvious and draws the eye, why wouldn't you just put the seam somewhere else? And why wouldn't you make the bow better than this? This is so sad. Honestly, this is sad. Put my little leg warmies on. Wet. I'm gonna fall over. Oh, I just noticed this. Hang on. Yes, yes. Oh, up. Oh, oh, it's just coming off. Okay, I thought it was all attached. Uh, that's just a big old ball of thread. Love that. <laughs> I, I, I just love how cosplay belts come in like their own little plastic tube. What a fun accessible belt for people of all shapes and sizes. It's just, it's just holes all the way. I appreciate that. And last but not least, the wig. Can you tell I'm having fun with these? Oh, I never finished explaining why I like Demon Slayer. So I don't like Shonen typically, right? Um, but I have found that Demon Slayer has interesting enough characters and like enough comedic moments for me that I can still enjoy it. And the fights aren't ridiculously long. I feel like they transition very well between the multiple characters with multiple scenarios. So it's not just like A plot, B plot. It's like A plot, B plot, C plot, D plot, E plot. And that keeps it more interesting to me. First things first, uh, this wig is what I call a fake lace front. So I know you can't see it because it's black, but it basically makes this fake widow's peak hairline. Um, and instead of doing this in a lace front, it smooshes a ton of hair into this weird point. And you'll, you'll see what I mean when I put it on. I mean, um, in my humble opinion, <laughs> there's no way to make a fake lace front look good. <laughs> it basically just creates this big squishy mass of fabric and fiber at the front of your head, and there's absolutely no way on earth to make it look natural. <laughs> um, I, I made an attempt to recreate her little front hair pieces and then the back that are tucked behind her ears. I did run into a problem though because this side does have a shorter piece that is clearly meant to go in front and this is meant to go behind, right? Um, this side, I couldn't, I couldn't quite um, locate any shorter piece on this side. So in terms of issues, the first is we have the weird hairline. The second is the, you know, length issue. The third is that the back. So Shinobu's hair is like pulled back. It's like a half ponytail look. So she has the back pulled into kind of like a bun and then the front is, you know, hanging around her face. This hair is just short. It is very hard to make a wig um, have a natural looking hairline when the hair is pulled back. That's why ponytail wigs are a menace to society. So I do feel like this company kind of, kind of did the best they could, but the best they could is still bad. So this is the look. <clears throat> At the end of these one star cosplay videos, I like to give the cosplay a rating myself and say if it truly deserves the one star or if it is better. I'm trying to think of nice things to say. They give you all the pieces. The belt is nice. Oh, the belt's fraying. 
In terms of things I don't like, um, the craftsmanship is not good. There's, you know, stray threads everywhere. This is just a completely raw edge with no hemming whatsoever. And I'm just, oh, there's a thread in my wig. Can y'all see that? I'm gonna give this a one star. This is not a good cosplay. You know, I haven't done one of these videos in a while, and usually I'm pleasantly surprised by the quality, but this truly is a one star cosplay. So if you enjoyed watching me suffer, make sure you are subscribed down below and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Let me know in the comments what you think of this cosplay or what your favorite character from Demon Slayer is, because I would love to hear. I love them all. Personally, Inosuke. Before we go, I want to say a big thank you to Momo for the new fan art. Uh, they made these beautiful prints of me as Mabel and me as Elsa. They're so cute. Thank you so much. You guys are so kind to me. Um, I remember when I first did my one star cosplay video and I had like a hundred subscribers. And now this board is so full of your wonderful art that I had to rearrange it. So thank you so much. I am really, truly grateful and I love making these videos for you guys. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye. You know, I'm honestly scared to get these pants off. I don't know how it's gonna go. It, it literally will not fit over my pelvis. Like I am touching bone. Haha, -ha. freedom.